White flag is out. One last go. Everybody is standing here at the Daytona International Speedway. Look at David Pearson. You've seen and heard the story of the 1976 Daytona 500. A memorable duel between David Pearson and Richard Petty. I will never forget. You knew it was going to come down to whoever was in the right position. And it's like musical chairs. The most vivid memory that I have about NASCAR was the 1976 Daytona 500. And I went crazy. What an incredible finish. The crowd went wild, you know. And, uh, quick as they come by on the white flag, I, I ran to where I could see it good. But what you may not know is a young Mark Martin was sitting in the grandstands, cheering on his favorite driver and witnessing what some consider one of the greatest finishes in NASCAR history. Being a little kid from Arkansas, you know, you didn't have NASCAR on the radio or television. My dad decides to take me and my buddies to the Daytona 500. I was actually in the stands right at the start-finish line in 76 when my man, Richard Petty, and, and David Pearson tangled off a of four, and I could not believe my eyes what happened. He's going to win the race. He's going to win it spinning, as he, I believe, will take the checkered flag. No, he did not make it. He, he is less than 100 yards from it. Here comes Pearson. Pearson is going to try to make it across the finish line. Petty has his car going. Pearson's going to win it. Oh, man, 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 he wins the race. I mean, I was just standing there watching, you know, standing in the seat. They'd been swapping back and forth, uh, back and forth. It was real exciting uh, coming down the last few laps. Richard had passed David, and then going down the back stretch, David did a crossover coming up off of four and wasn't completely clear, lacked about three inches maybe of being clear, Richard, and came up and and so it, it turned David into the wall and turned Richard, you know, around the other way and they all come to, you know, down through there and Richard wound up dead. My guy wound up dead in the infield, shy of the finish line and his crew all comes running out there to push the car, to get it started, to get it across the finish line and David's front end was completely smashed. And he gets that baby fired up and gets her running. And here he comes across the infield, headed for that start finish line. Wrinkled up in front. That's got to be the most mangled car, Chris, that you'll ever see in Victory Lane. It's the most awesome thing I'd ever seen in my life. One of the most unusual and exciting finishes ever in the history of NASCAR Grand National Racing.